Adrian, I'm going to make you my leek and mushroom strudel. Now, the reason I'm doing this is I have German in my family. It completely splits us when the soccer's on. But today, I'm going to unite and we're going to do some beautiful German food. Nice, I like that. Do you want me to cut the leek up for you? Yes, please. I know I have a mountain of mushrooms, so I'm going to need your help with this one as well. So these two work beautifully together, but I do want them to be quite soft. German people have been eating strudel for a long time. Sometimes they have it savoury, sometimes they have it sweet. Nice. But it does bring a nice family together, I tell you. So when the soccer's on, you bring out a strudel and everyone's happy. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Exactly. Yep, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Just going to have a little bit of very good Australian olive oil right there. And you can be quite generous with that one, OK? In go my mushrooms, that beautiful sizzle and smell. They're just going to sweat off a little bit. I'll put that garlic in there. About four to five minutes, really make sure that that wilts down and all the flavours start coming out. Adrian, so they're starting to sweat down nicely. If you just chuck that parsley in there, and there's a little bit of white wine. And as you do that, I'm just going to add a tablespoon of pepper. Delicious white wine. Of course, a little bit of good Australian salt. What I'm going to do now is just let that cool a little bit, because I don't want to add the ricotta while it is still hot. We want that nice and cold. It's smelling good like that. So that is nice and cool now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plop the ricotta in there. Make sure it's all nice. About a cup of ricotta. Just mix that in. OK, so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab that phyllo. All right, I've got some baking paper I'll put on the bottom of the tray. Yes, please, if you could. So what we're going to do is, obviously, we'd like to have our phyllo nicely either buttered, but I'm going to choose olive oil today, OK? So I'm just going to pick one sheet there. Extra virgin olive oil Good into the bowl there. Extra virgin olive oil there. I've got my brush. I'm just going to brush between the sheets here. The phyllo pastry needs some fat or oil in between the layers because it's a pastry that actually fries. So the oil and the butter that you put in there um, gets it frying and that's what keeps it nice and crisp. So oil is a great alternative if you can't have butter. Exactly. And what I have also made sure of is that the mushrooms obviously extinguish a little bit of liquid. So I've made sure that I got rid of that liquid because liquid and pastry, they're not always the best of friends. We want to make sure that we're going to have a lovely strudel that's not too damp and soggy. Soggy is the word I was looking for. That's <laughs> what would happen to it. So if you paint that on there... Now, I'll put this layer on top yep, of here. Yeah, a few more. There we go. Three's enough? Three layers? Yeah, three's okay. enough for me today. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hold this one up and I would love you to spoon just that spoon strudel mix You want, like, a little log down the middle of it? It smells delicious. Exactly. There we go. So we just spread this out? Yeah, spread that, spread that one out. You spread that out. And I want you to just grab that parmesan because I want to give it another little extra secret kick with a little bit of a cheesy taste just on top there. You can't offend me at all with, uh, with, with <laughs> cheese. I love it. Parmesan's lovely. Got a lovely flavour. There's a bit of Italian in this strudel mix as well, isn't there? There is a little. Yeah. I've gone oh, a bit with a little fusion, I think. There we go. So what we're going to do is we need a little bit of oil on the sides here as well. Point. Down the end there. Lovely jubbly. There we go. I spent some time painting when I was a young kid. There we go. Well, should we work together? Should we make this happen? Oh, we can do that. Over okay, the top there over like the... that. There, there we go. go. It is quite long, isn't it? And push it in at the side. Better sides. invite some friends round. I think we'd get through this thing. I don't do you think, think so? Oh, I reckon by the time you start it, it's nice and crunchy All on the right. outside. All right, so we're just putting a little bit more olive oil. Again, Philo does need that. So we've got the fan set at 190, 20, 25 minutes or until golden. Keep your eyes on it. Fantastic, Rosie. It's good. There is a bit of moisture in there with the mushrooms there and the cheese. So, but you've got that lovely steam in there as well, and you've got that flaky pastry on the top there. I'm looking forward there you to this. Go. Me too. Let's have a little go in there. Love a little taste of that one. I've got mushroom on mm. there, ricotta, leek. I've got some pastry there, all in one big mouth. That ricotta did really work as a, as a creaminess substitute there. Mm. It's great. It's lovely. But after that puff pastry, it really weighs you down. This is a nice light alternative. Well done.